During World War I, hundreds of thousands of people were killed or maimed by chemical weapons. After the war had finally ended, it seemed certain that this would be the future of warfare. But those who had seen the horrors wrought by chemical weapons worked hard to prevent their future use, destroying 97% of the world's stockpile. As a result, the world was made a safer place with the freedom to follow other pursuits. Chemical warfare was a frightening new idea, even at its inception. But not all ideas appear sinister at first glance. Wartime technologies are often extensions of peaceful technology that already exists. This is an example of what is commonly called dual use. When new technologies are developed, we consider the many ways we intend to use them. But it is more important to consider the ways that others might use them, or even misuse them. Over the last 30 years, genetically modified viruses have successfully been used within contained laboratories. Soon, they could be used as a common therapy to treat cancer and a wide range of diseases. Genetically modified viruses are normal viruses that have had extra DNA added to them. This allows them to do things they could not have done before. Until today, scientists have not intentionally released genetically modified viruses into the environment, barring several tightly controlled exceptions. The problem with any deliberate release is that, in many cases, it is difficult to control where the viruses will end up. We know of thousands of natural plant viruses, but none are known that can edit a plant's chromosomes. However, man-made viruses can be created to edit chromosomes across species. A new program called Insect Allies aims to use this kind of gene editing technology to help farmers and communities protect their crops. Until now, this technology has only been used indoors but the military agency funding this program is interested in releasing it outside. While their idea is not new, it has never been done before. Farmers spend a lot of time worrying about how to protect the health of their crops from hazards. With insect allies, armies of insects would be infected with man-made viruses that are designed to directly target their crops. These viruses would be used to strengthen the plants against a wide selection of hazards. As a result, the main focus of this project is on viral dispersal. The insect allies themselves would only serve as viral vectors. For this plan to succeed, scientists would need to be prepared for anything. When the alarm sounds, they would need to quickly infect insects with the correct virus, transport them to farmers and release them. The insects would then be able to distribute their infections to crops. To be useful in any capacity, all of this would require global infrastructure. It would need warehouses designed to house insects year-round and staff to breed and maintain them. These insects would also require safeguards that would prevent them living and breeding beyond their one-time use. Without these kill switches, there would be a risk of the virus mutating and spreading, as pathogens tend to do. Unfortunately, it is still unclear how the spread of a genetically modified virus would be controlled. Should we be worried? The designers of the Insect Allies program claim that they can greatly assist farmers in protecting their crops, much to everyone's benefit. However, this kind of technology can easily be used to sabotage and control access to resources on a local or global scale. Right now, scientists are hard at work to safely develop insect allies. They are using multitudes of kill switches to prevent unintended outbreaks. But is this enough? With the appropriate resources, it would be easy for anyone to turn off these safeguards and cause a deliberate outbreak. This would create a new and highly targetable form of biological weapon, one that is undetectable and untraceable. It can be hard to predict the future. Today's technologies can become tomorrow's weapons. So, knowing all of this, do we really want to go viral? 
and what can we do to control its possible use? <laughs>